focus up, okay? It's an important moment for you. The guy we're meeting doesn't mess around at all, so don't say a word unless I tell you to. We'll be fine. Don't gotta worry about it. Don't fuck around, okay? They won't take that. Damn. and his little sidekick. So what brings you to the most famous... In infamous. infamous. Infamously amazing hitman in this town. We need your help finding someone. And who might you two be looking for? A uh, killer. There's a lot of those around here. Can you give me a description? Uh, yeah, he's, he's tall, skinny, dark, curly hair. You two can't be serious. Why? What's wrong? The man, the, the killer that you're describing, it's Richard Fracasso. Is that name supposed to ring a bell to me or what? It should scare you. This is one of Chapman's men. If you kill him or send the wrong message, it could cause a chain of events that could lead to all-out warfare between you and Constantine and Chapman and all of his resources. Killing this guy is going to be a high price. Okay, well, we just want you to find him, okay? No need for killing. That's, that's our job, or more specifically his. So let me get this straight. You come to the most famous, infamous, 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 whatever, killer in this town to find a guy? Well, it's a, it's a personal <laughs> vendetta. Yeah. Well, we both know you can't kill. And this kid can? Jesus Christ, Jim. What is he, like 16? 18. He's not ready for the big leagues like you and I are. You've really hit a new low with these mentees here. He's, this kid's barely said shit to me the entire time. What, are you scared? You scared to go up against one of Chapman's best men? You watch your step. I'm watching. You know what that guy's done to me? What? You know, he killed my mother in front of me. One person? Those are rookie numbers. Do you know how many fucking people I've lost in this job? Don't take away from my fucking loss, bitch. Hey, hey, kid. Get the fuck out of here. Shit, Jim, that kid's got potential. Tell him when he's going for the kill to make it personal. We will do. So what's my pay looking like? Uh, the usual rate, but uh, high risk target, so, you know, be a little up there. Now this better not fuck up my reputation. All right, I love working with you, but I don't want to lose out on the market of everyone else, especially Chapman. He could be a good client for me. It won't, and if it does, we can talk about more permanent hire. All right. Yeah, we could really use someone with your expertise on our side. I like what I'm hearing. I've been looking to join on one side, preferably the winners. Yeah, and with all of us on one side, we could definitely make something work. Sounds like a plan. I look forward to working with you, Jim. I'm sorry, I never got an introduction for your sidekick. I'm Ace, <laughs> the one and only. You ready for tomorrow? A little nervous. It's understandable. It's a big step up from the academy. Yeah. What's next, though? Who are you? Listen, hey, listen to me now. God. Alright. I'm a fucking cop. I don't give a shit if you're a fucking cop or a detective or whatever you want to call yourself. We both know there's a war brewing and we gotta work together to end it before it gets out of our hands. I've heard about your recent detective work of sorts. You, like me, are looking into the Chapman family. We have a common enemy. We both want him gone, so I propose a deal. We work together, you, me, and we take him down. We have information about him that the other may not have. So, you have two options. You work with me, or you turn or turn your back on everything and go your own way, and I'll just do it all myself. And listen, I, I know your brother's involved in all this, so it may be a hard decision for you. But it's not like you have much of a choice. But you have to choose. You either help me and I actually make, make change, or you just end up another shitty cop. You got a deal. I'm in. It's all there. 
I didn't fucking short you. You're right. It's all there. I know I'm right. I fucking counted the money. No, not only about that. Matt went around looking for you and the others again last week. He has nothing. We finished the move last week. Everything has moved out and he has no clue where our new hideout is. Picasso has just gone missing without a trace and the girl's gonna be taken care of next week. All of our loose ends are cut. He, there's no way he can get to us. It's not what I'm worried about. What happens when his dumbass gets too close to finding you again? Oh, I'll do what needs to get done. Don't. Why not? He's persistent, but he'll give up when he can't solve the unsolvable. No need for excess violence. How do you think the boss will take this? One of your old detectives? Your brother, too. He's gonna be looking into us when he comes in here next week. Oh my God, shut up. Shut up about the boss. I'm done hearing about this. The boss this, deal with that. Deal with it, your fucking self. I'm done. I fucking have been. Who do you think took him back when he got too close? Who do you think moves all the shipments around here? Who do you think sent Picasso to intimidate the other gang? Who, who fucking killed that, that investigator who was getting too close and he was about to unveil everything? Me! You just like you do shit all around here. You just sit on your tower and look fucking pretty. You can't even take care of your own fucking brother. Fuck you, Alderman. I run the entire police force and help you keep safe. You couldn't do half the shit you do without me. Just this week, I busted eight of Constantine's guys just for you. Maybe you should stop fucking provoking them, then I wouldn't have to do this shit for you. We wouldn't have this fucking gang war. Explain that to the boss. You've had run-ins with all these bastards? Yeah, that's how I knew how to draw them. Well, tell me, what, tell me what you know about them. She's a dealer. He's in charge of the whole thing, and this guy. Well, uh, tell me, why isn't your brother out here? Because I know where to find him if I wanted to. Matt, you, you have to realize that he's a part of this too, whether you like it or not. <laughs> It's not like him, he's my brother. You can try to avoid him, Matt, but sooner or later, we're gonna have to go after him. Not yet. You haven't told me what you know. These two, the only ones I've had run-ins with. This one time, me and my old mentor, Jim, were doing a deal. Sketchy, back alleyway type of bullshit. We, we held up our end of the deal. Wait. <laughs> Doing drugs? Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not doing drugs. I don't, I don't do the stuff. I do more of the protection side. All right. Well, anyways, we're getting the money from our client. All was going well. And right as we're about to head out, he appeared. And he shot our client. About to shoot us, too. But he simply gave us a warning. Next time, stay out of fucking territory, and maybe you won't be dead on the ground like this guy. He said something along the lines. Classic intimidation tactics. What about the other one? It was nothing. But what I know for sure is he isn't a threat anymore. You don't gotta worry about him. How are you sure? Just, just trust me on this one. I know you're doing. Don't have a choice. Now, how do you suppose we get to all this? You know. I don't want to get him any more involved than he needs to be. It's not like we have much of a choice. You need to talk to him. What if, what if, what if we put him in danger by confronting him? Simple solution. We put the guns away, agree, no guns confrontation, and everything will be just fine. We'll be okay. You really think they'd agree to that? What choice do we have? You're so protective of your brother, we need to get him to talk somehow. It's huh. the only fucking option. All right, I'll try, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Matthew? Daniel. It's been what? About three months, no contact. Sounds right. So why'd you decide to reach out now? I have a, I have a, I have a way we can end this. 
Matt, what have I told you about this? Stay out of it. It doesn't involve you. If it doesn't involve me, it doesn't involve you. We were roped into this, right? I have a, way to, I have a safe way to get us both out of this. This isn't your battle. This is my fight. And I've told you time and time again to stay out of it, to stand clear. There's nothing here for you to learn. I'm just trying to do what's best for me and my... Are you still there? Yeah. Stay out of this. This is not for you to decide how this ends. Daniel, this is our, this is your chance to get out of this. This is our chance to be family again. We don't have mom or dad anymore. It's just us. Neither of us belong in this situation. I don't want to lose, I don't want to see you destroy the city. Fine, I'll meet you and your friends, but no guns, an alderman's coming. What now? It's Matt. He wants us to meet. What? Why would he want to do that? He wants to negotiate a new deal with his business partners and us. You're not seriously considering this. He said no guns, just people, just talking. He, are you serious? He cannot be trusted. After all the shit he's fucking pulled, this is going to be some ambush that gets us both fucking killed. Look, I know he's a pain in our ass, but he's not a liar. He's ignorant, but we can, we can trust him. Daniel, get your fucking personal feelings out of this. Matt's tricking you, and he's gonna fucking kill us both. Look, all I want is for my fucking brother to be out of this. If this is what it takes, so be it, but he doesn't have the guts to hurt me. It sounds like you don't have the fucking guts either. I don't. I'm going no matter what. I just want this over. Don't you, you don't think I want this over too? I wanna be done with this so much more than you. I, but I'm not gonna be fucking stupid about it. it. Do you even know who he's working with these days? No, I don't know. He's one of he's one of Constantine's men. He's the one that that Fracasso tormented. He he's the one who betrayed his own partner. He he calls himself Ace. I don't know an Ace. He's the how do you not know him? He's the biggest backstabber in this fucking city. We just need to end this. You're either with me or you're not. Fine. God knows you can't do this shit alone and I'll fuck it up. Just talk with Daniel, it's on. When and where? 30 minutes, he said parking lot. Let's go. Let's go. Us too. Great. Let's let's get this business started. Ace, right? I guess you have permission to call me that. You think I was asking for permission? Keep my name out of your mouth then. I've just I've heard of your name before. I just wasn't sure if you had a real name. Something that might actually make you a human. Do you want to start some shit? No, no. Let's talk business. Let's get this figured out. All right. Matt's right. We should take care of this civilly. Fine, Ace. What's your proposition then? 50-50 split. That's all I want. You're fucking joking, right? Do I sound like I'm joking to you? So this is your solution. You know what this means? Your tiny ass fucking gang of pussies walking around with as much ground as the Chapman family? No, I'm not gonna let that happen. What about a 75-25 split? No, 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 no. You don't even deserve that much. You've done nothing to scare me. You have nothing on me and you have nothing on this family. You know your old buddy Fracasso? How do you know that name? I probably know that name better than you. That man. He killed my mother and my mentor. Whose face do you think he saw before he died? What do you think happened to him? 
I don't know, but I know he saw him last. I have no fucking clue where he went. No, Matt's right. He couldn't have been the last one before the shootout. The same shootout where one Jim Jaden died. The same shootout where a certain Fricasso was seen. You knew this whole time. I did. Whose fucking side are you on? I'm on yours. Why don't you tell me sooner then? Listen, Al. Let's look at what's at stake here. End it. I can't take this deal. I can't take this risk. <sighs> Just take the deal. If you don't, we all know what's gonna happen. War's gonna break out, and who knows what Chapman will do. Now, how do you know that name? Butch Chapman, he's the boss, no? Great job, detective. Yeah, I also know damn well you don't have the resources for the war you're trying to start. We do, and we're not afraid to use them. Well, shit, two of your big members went missing, and those cronies, gone. Now, how the fuck do you know that? How do I know? Why else would your partner be doing a drug deal in the middle of the city? I could ask you the same thing. What are you talking about? I think he was your friend, uh, Derek Woods. What about him? Why would you let such a, an important member of your organization just go wandering around in the city? <laughs> Matt, what's he talking about? D Daniel, what do you mean? He means he killed Derek. That's right, he overstepped. I killed him, left him dead, shot him right there and let his body rot. He knew too much, and that's what happens to people who know too much. And if I had my gun, I'd do the same to you fuckers. Ace, what the fuck? Matt, tell him to put the gun down. Ace. I'm not putting it. the fucking gun down, this is how this ends. We don't have to do it this way. There's no other fucking way. These bastards won't negotiate with us. Negotiate? You mean with the fucking offensive offer that you brought to the table? I offered you a fair trade considering your recent downfall. You think you're tough? That gun make you feel powerful? It's probably fucking empty. You're too scared to actually make a move on me. You want to test that theory? Ace, don't. Al, just back up. This isn't worth it. Matt, listen. You don't get to talk right now. Because of that little stun you pulled, my brother's dead. I killed him. I can't tell him that I cared for him. I can't tell him that I was trying to get him out of this. I can't tell him I loved him. It's my last family member. And all for what? A war that I'm not part of anymore. All the sacrifices I made, all the effort I made. It's mounted to nothing but suffering and more pain. Why'd you shoot him? I didn't know it was him. I panicked. At least it wasn't for nothing. It was for nothing. He, he didn't have anything to do with this. At least Alderman knows now. No, no, no. You don't get to do this. You don't get to justify my brother's death. Me? I'm not the one who pulled the fucking trigger. You, no, 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 you can't, you can't put all the blame on me. What's my part in this? You brought a fucking gun to the conversation. That's what we agreed on. Listen, Matt, we both know that this wasn't going to end the way we wanted it to. Would you rather be on the winning side or the losing side? No, 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 you don't get to break the fucking rules. Sometimes you need to play dirty to get what you want. It's not as simple as black and white. You gotta find the gray area. That gray area got my brother killed. Where you're from, you get to play by the fucking rules because you have the resources to do so. Where I'm from, we play by the rules because we're the good guys. There's no such thing as good guys and bad guys. Everyone's just trying to survive. You're telling me you aren't the bad guys. Look at this city. What have you done to stop any of this? Crime here, crime there, people dying for no fucking reason. It's your job to control them, and you haven't done jack shit. I'm a good person. I, I'm a good person, Ace. 
But when I met you, when I met you, I slipped. You can continue to stick by your high, blind morals, but it'll get, to get you nowhere. You can't blame this on me. Look at yourself. Have you done any of this for anyone besides yourself? You want to be a detective. You want to be a big shot, cool guy. Well, your actions have consequences, and look where it led you now. Look where it led us now. You'd be alive if you didn't get into all this. I'm done. You can't escape, Matt. They'll always find their way back to you. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. What should you be doing? Probably killing Chapman. Not the bad idea. Well, I'm not gonna do that. What choice do you have? Not much. You go try that, you have no other options. After you screwed me and my gang over, I have to bring the cop in here. The cop was pretty helpful before he left, actually. Helpful? All he did was bring us closer to war. You couldn't even use him properly as a pawn. Constantine, what do you think Jim would have done? Jim do as I do. He's a family man. He cares about the game. I care too. Something else is your priority. I can tell. Nothing's over the game, Constantine. I promise. If Jim believe in you, I believe in you as well. However, you need to believe in me. And also, stop going behind my back. Fine. I'll try and kill Chapman myself. Best be careful, Ace. Never know what's going to happen. You're the only one I can trust right now. Glad it's me, sir. Sir, what did you do? It, it's Matt. He, he's the problem with this. He's the problem of our organization. What did I tell you about him? You, you told me to kill him. You told me to kill Matt. didn't you do? It, I tried. I, did, I was going to kill him, but Daniel stepped in the way. It's his fault. Is it Daniel's fault? Or is it yours? Answer me that. And why didn't you? Because you are obviously not knowing who is the boss here. You do not tell me how this works. I am the boss. And you are the reason all of this is rooted in problems. I don't think you understand what is happening here. You are not the boss. I pay you to do what I tell you. And what I'm telling you to do now, after everything, after Fracasso's fuck up, after all that, it was rooted with you. Now what I want you to do, pull the trigger. I'm telling you, not asking. Why would I do that? You do know how important, you know how important you I am? mean nothing to me. I have many other men that could replace you. Do you understand that? Now, I, when I tell you to do it, you do it. I'm not gonna kill myself. Get up.
I'm not a cop. Can't arrest you again. What happened? A long story. Okay. You still selling? Yeah. Awesome? Uh, not my scene. Oh, well, it looks like you need it. Maybe. Well, just let me know. Can I ask you something? Yeah. How do you know my brother? Who's your brother? Daniel. Daniel Fletcher. Chief. Chief of Police. Yeah, I know. He's the one that let me go at the station. How else do you know him? Through the gang. I never knew him personally, but... My, like that, my boss talked about him a lot. How are you involved? It's complicated. Now let me ask you the same thing. I thought I could do good. I thought I could save my brother. I thought I could save this town. I thought I could do more. Do anything. Instead of chasing this, I've lost family, I've lost friends. I lost my job. What's left to fight for? Stop now. All your sacrifices will be for nothing. You can give up and end it here. But that won't that won't bring anything back. Nothing can. But you've already started your story. So I'm not trying to end it. I really lost everything. I can't bear to lose anything else. What does there have to lose? Not anymore. Maybe you should take your own advice. You can use it. the situation looking like? Which situation? The one with Matthew and the so-called ace. Oh yeah, I found out a lot about that. Did you find where they're stationed? Yeah, they're in a basement of a grocery store. Okay, thank you, daughter. I believe this calls for a promotion. I'm good. That's not the answer I was looking for. I've lost my three most trusted men. Alderman. Ficasso. Fletcher. I need someone I can trust right now. I'll consider it. Thank you. You're dismissed. It's nice to see you too. So tell me, where's the old man? Chapman's not here right now, but if you want to kill someone, you could always kill me. Or at least you could try. I don't have a reason to kill you. Well, if you want Chapman dead that bad, I'm always nearby for a price. We all know Chapman's already short on men. He wouldn't let you go for hire. But we also both know there's always a higher price. <laughs> You think I need your help? Chapman's little right hand man? I know you need my help. I have more experience than you do. Do you know who the fuck I am? I'm fucking Ace. Everybody knows me, Ace. I am the guy. Who are you? I'm the guy who gets things done. What the fuck are you talking about? You are quite literally infamous 
for being Chapman's little bitch who sits next to him and does jack fucking shit. I'm the guy who doesn't fuck up. I know you just want to be on the winning side. I can play Chapman myself. You don't have the men to stop me. You're damn right I want to be on the winning side. I'm always on top. You need me. Another step in you next. I don't need anyone. What are you doing back here? Realize I can't run from this. You're too late. Why? Chapman's coming. Who? Butch Chapman. The big boss. The leader of the people we're fighting. You know who he is? No. We're too late. The hell we are. Hey, hey, watch it, old friend. Baron, where the fuck's Chapman? It's only me. Chapman's been taken care of. What do you mean? I killed him. You thought I couldn't, but I did. I'm on top now. I run this empire. You needed me, but I don't need you anymore. Cool it, cool it, cool it. Let's just talk. Drop it. We know how it went last time, Professor Holmes. Baron, is it? Correct. And you are? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is settling this. And why would I? I could end this all right now and take over this entire empire. It could be mine. Do you know what the fuck you just did? Killing Chapman is gonna set off a chain reaction to events that you can't control. What do you know about his kids? His nephew? They all want to kill you. Everyone who works for him wants to kill you. You have no control in this situation anymore. What are you gonna do? That's what I call success. You were right, Ace. I never would have made it as Chapman's little bitch. My ego held me back. But now I'm the king killer. And next, I'll be the killer of Aces. You guys fucking dumb? Put down your guns. If both of you guys kill each other, nothing happens. Neither of you are a power. And what if I shoot first? If your finger moves a millimeter, you're fucking dead. Can we just fucking sit down and talk about this? And you, what's your angle on all this? You just here to pick up the scraps after we kill each other? I'm just trying to do my job. And what job is that? Co cop, I'm a cop. You're working with a fucking pig? Jesus Christ, Ace, you really fell off since I left and Jim died. A fucking pig. What did you do to stoop so low? Why are you wrapped into all this? A lot of shit you don't understand. I'm just trying to fix this. Let's take the easy way out then. Quick card game, winner takes all. You're gonna put all of this on a card game? You fucking lost it. What can I say? Finally starting to get the hang of things. How about this? If you win, you get everything of Chapman's that's now mine. And if I win, I get all your shit and the pleasure of killing both of you. Deal. Fuck are you thinking? Got it under control, don't you worry. No betting around? That's already been made. It's kind of a stupid question.
Time to open up the floodgates. I'm out. Showdown. Pair of eights. Royal flush. Hand it over to the new king. You know the deal. Fine. But this won't be the last time you see me. Remember, I'm always available for a price. If what you say is true, I have a feeling you'll need me pretty soon. Where are you going? I'm done working with you. What do you mean you're leaving? It's over. We won. We can do whatever we want now. Bullshit, you rigged it. Playing by the rules can only get you so far in life. That's not how I wanted to win. So what? It's how he had to win. It's not what I necessarily wanted to do, but it's what I did. It's not what we had to do. It was how you wanted it. If I had done that, think of what else would have happened. A civil conversation? No, you'd be under the fucking ground, jackass. I had the situation under control from the start. It's a good thing you just played along and listened to me. We're done. Don't leave. Everything you've done for this would just be gone. Matt? I know what I did it for. What's next, though? Detective, hopefully.
not anymore. <laughs> Where's the smooch? 